Hello everyone, welcome back to Joyce Creative Finger. This is episode three of our Let's Play for The Sims Mobile and I've just completed the love story between Legend and Almond, so they are level 10 in their relationship. And, oh, I've just won the sweet bohemian lace dress. That's great. But I think you have to pay for that with game cash. Anyway, they have completed the soulmate's love story. Some love is meant to be. And they are at level 10. I think that's the last stage of completing a love story. Let me just click on this quest complete and collect the reward. A tale of two sims, quest completed, seven cash, 50 simoleons. The next thing to do is get married and of course have a baby. But in this episode, we are going to have a baby. In order to get married, your sims have to have three friends at level two of their relationship. So both of them have three friends each <laughs> before you can actually get married. But this is the house. I'm still developing this house. It's going to be a beautiful house. And I realize that you can't um, have multiple houses in this game. You know, again, we're learning. And so I will make this house as special as I possibly could when I can. <laughs> so of course I've added another room because I'm now at level 14 and I'm a cozy customizer uh, and I'm, I'm moving along in the game. You just have to keep playing. You've got to keep playing. So we now have a kitchen and dining separate from the main room and then the bedroom and the bathroom is pretty much the same but I now have a double bed. Well the next thing to do now is go straight into build mode and look for outdoor decorations because there are some items we need. I think it's a wedding arbor uh, and some other items. I think we need to get that in collections, home collections. I've completed all these ones and focusing on completing these collections do move you along in the game quite quickly and you get some cash and some good rewards. So I'm still on it, but we want the wedding collection today. So let's click on that. You need one wedding arch, four floral pillars and four windowed rose lattice. So let's get started with the wedding arch. And of course you have to have space. <laughs> I didn't think about this, but I'm sure I've got enough space to, to set this wedding up at the back. We'll think about it this way. I mean, this is obviously the first of the generation that we're working on. So they wouldn't have the best wedding ever. But as you go down in generations, it'll get better. And perhaps the last generation would have their wedding by the river out back. <laughs> so just think of it that way. But we're going to make it happen out here. If I place it here, this big wall would be in the way. That's not going to be good for me for photos because we have to take photos. Let's, let me just fiddle around and see where I can place this. I would have wanted to have a party going on when I get them married so there'll be people around and they're not alone. But I feel that the screen is going to get quite busy with the party menu as well and its progress. And, and that will ruin the wedding for me uh, in terms of taking photographs. I want to take photographs of them. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out a color here. There. That is great white wood pink flowers and dusty pink roses so floral pillars floral pillars we need four of those i honestly really don't like where the wedding arbor is and um you know i don't have a choice it takes a while for you to be able to unlock the ability to clear the land maybe we could use the side no not really i i'm going to keep it at the back you know a wedding in the back garden we're going to make this work here. <laughs> it's going to happen. So let's just put this down and I'm just going to put the wedding arch uh, at the back of this house in this way here. Yeah, it's, it's a better idea. Although I, I do wish that we could have the walls up <laughs> and then we'd see the brick wall as a backdrop for this wedding. But you know, it, it's what it is and it's going to be pretty. If you put flowers anywhere, it makes the place pretty. So it's it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be fine. So let's try and set them up in a way that uh, looks reasonable. So perhaps two on each side and then we'll put the window rose lattice on either side of it. Let's place you here, over here. I'm going to have to change those colors as well. Let's place another one here. Maybe as we get updates, we'll have a duplication button. <laughs> so you don't have to keep going back into the menu to pick out what you need. And now we need these windowed rose lattice. Mm, let's place it over here. 
Oh gosh, land, I need land. <laughs> I need land. Yeah, it's fine here. I think. Yay! I'm... What? I thought I'd leveled up or something. Could you believe? I didn't really need four of the um, floral pillars. Perhaps just one of each. But I definitely needed one wedding arch. So I've spent quite a bit of money. <laughs> you know, I don't mind. It's a wedding. Let's th let it be that this is where I was lavish uh, with this couple. I mean, they deserve it. Uh, so let's just place another one on the side here to make it even. <laughs> Can you imagine? I just needed one of each and it's quite hard to get these simoleons, but um, yeah. Now the next thing to do is change the colours of the floral pillars so that they fit the wedding arch. I've already done one, so let's do the next one. <laughs> Look at this, it's like pulling a tree out of the ground. <laughs> so there we go for pink, that's nice. I'm quite curious to see how this wedding is going to turn out because I've never seen it done before. Uh, so this is this is going to be fun. And of course, I wanted to have this done recorded so that we can share the same experience. Obviously, some of you have already uh, had weddings in your game. Some of my friends in this game right now are at level 40 something. I'm like, really? <laughs> but obviously, you've been playing for a while and we just got this in the UK three days ago. So, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to move this further back. I don't like where it is. So let's place it over here. Hmm, I like that. I think that's that's good. And I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. Hmm, and then there we go. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that works for me. Except, so now we're going to, uh, oh gosh, it really looks like oh man i need land it really looks like you know a lot there's a lot of effort put into pulling up something off a particular spot and placing it somewhere else but look at this yay i think it's time to get legend and almond married so there i have leveled up i'm now a delightfully deluxe uh, my lifestyle has improved okay and a new quest, a new quest. Look at this against the wall. See, if I could keep the walls up, it would be great. <laughs> anyway, I better give it up, but I'm going to move it along. I don't like where it is. I'm just gonna shift it to the side. I know, I get pernickety with these things, but it's just a bit off to the side. I wanted further pulled in uh, towards the L shape of the house. Trust me, it just, it has to move. It wasn't right where it was. <laughs> ah, dear, dear, dear. There we go. And let's move this pillar in and this one back. Can you see it now? Can you see it now? There we go. This wedding is ready to happen. Ta-da. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This new quest thing keeps bobbing up on the side. Anyway, uh, I'll click on that later, but I'm going to get them here straight away. So just click on it and get married to Almond, your fiance, of course. So you can't invite any other Sims. So you just click on that. Say okay. Hmm. Well, it's going to be a very intimate wedding look it's happening here we go <laughs> so here's the thing don't click on the green check button if you want them to just hang out here for a while doing the same thing this is what i've noticed if you click on that green check it's done so wow the ring the ring i'm blinded <laughs> i really wish they could have had some friends around let me just get rid of this yeah done it keeps bobbing up in the screen and it's time for me to take some pictures of them oh this is really cute <laughs> hmm blue shoes i would have preferred pink shoes almond yeah she's got blue shoes all the soles of the shoes are blue <laughs> one or the other let me get some photos let's see that was a good one I mean, every wedding has to have good pictures. Let's try a different angle, perhaps a close-up of some sort. I wish you could have had a good glimpse of the ring. 
Sorry, no, we no. can't see it though. It's Ooh. just a nice big flare. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Well, well, well. I would formally like to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Brown. <laughs> Well, the next chapter for these two is obviously to have a child, but for now, let's just simmer in the thought that they've just had a beautiful wedding. <laughs> Good thing is, we're told that they don't actually die, they retire and then move out. I think that's a nice way to do it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!